Hello guys, today I want to show you how you can create a unique custom logo animation in Adobe After Effects without the use of any template and today this is what we are going to create. So quickly open up your Adobe After Effects, create a new composition, name your composition, then I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080 30 frames per seconds and then I'm going to make the entire duration 10 seconds. Any color we do here and then hit OK. Then right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. Name this BG and then make comp size and then hit OK. Then add a fill effect. We are going to change this color to somewhat blue in a moment. Switch this panel to effects and control and then switch this color to whatever you may like in your own case. And then hit OK. Now it is time to import our logo. Go to wherever you have your logo, drag and drop it into your project manager window. Then we're going to select the composition option because we want to have the individual layers imported and then hit OK. A new composition and a new folder has been added which contained all the layers included in the logo. So select all of them and drag them into the composition timeline. I'm going to delete the background layer right here because I already created my own background. I got this logo from freepeak.com. They have amazing, wonderful graphics, images, and all of that to support your workflow. You can find free stuff and paid stuff right there. And most of the time, the logos you will get from that platform comes in layers. But in this case, I first use Adobe Illustrator to separate the elements of the logo into layers. If you don't know how to do that, you can leave a comment and I will do a short video to cover that process. But it's pretty simple in Adobe Illustrator. So once you have your logos imported like this, on your timeline right here, hide every layer except the cup layer and the liquid layer. Now pick the pen tool. We're going to create two shape layers quickly one for the cup and one for the liquid that will enable us animate these elements individually like change fill to none and make sure you create a contrasting stroke color so that we can see what we are tracing so first i'm going to create the shape over the cup make sure no layer is selected on your timeline Once your shape is ready, you can go through it and modify what you already have so that they can perfectly fit into the cup. Our cup layer is ready, so we're going to trace also this liquid right inside, but this time around we're going to make it an overlap by the side. So make sure no layer is selected and start tracing again. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, if you are a complete beginner, you can leave a comment. Then I will make a tutorial to help you learn the pen tool. But if you are coming from Illustrator and Photoshop, you should know how to use this. Now both shape layer are ready. So select both and set the stroke to none. And then set a fill color. Any color will do right here. Then select the liquid layer and change it to black. Also make sure you rename all layers so that you keep everything organized. Now move the cup layer you just drew over the liquid layer and set the track mask to alpha mat. Select the liquid shape layer and add a turbulent displace effect. We're gonna make some changes on the effects and controls. Move your time indicator to five seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for the amount. Then change the amount to zero Set a keyframe for the size and make the size 10. 
and then also set a keyframe for the evolution then move your time indicator back to one seconds and then change the value of the amount to five and change the value of the size to five then on the evolution change the value to two by zero zero hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes go in between the keyframe and change size to six then move back again in between and then change amount to 1091 and then move in between forward and then change amount to 300. Move your time indicator again to five seconds forward in time. Hold down the shift key and hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position property. Then set a keyframe for the position. Then move back to one seconds and then pull the position downward. Select the keyframe for the positions, right click on them, go to keyframe assistance and then easy ease. Select this keyframe right here, switch to graph editor and change your curves like this. If you preview now, this is what you have. Beautiful. So select the pen tool again. Make sure no layer is selected. Set the fill to none and then set a stroke color to black. Pull back a bit. You need to draw a line from the top right here and into the cup. Set stroke width to 25. Expand the shape layer right here and change the line cap to rounded. Select the add button right here and add a trim part. Now we're going to use the trim part right here to animate this line dropping into the cup. I have made a dedicated tutorial about trim part animation in this channel. You can check it below or you can see it on the card right here. I basically just animated the line dropping into the cup as if the liquid was pouring in inside and also animated it out using the parameters on the trim part, the end and start. So now Add the top lens displays, set amount to 50 and size to 10. Then go to the evolution tab right here. Hold down your alt key on your keyboard or your option key on the mark and click on the evolution. So we're going to add some expression right here. Time asterisk 600. Add the roughing edges effect. On the roughing edges effect, set border to 15.2, set edge sharpness to 0.43, and set scale to 50. We're going to add a simple choker and change the choke mat to 3. Now at this point, we have this. Select the stroke layer, Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Remove all the effects, hit R on your keyboard to reveal the rotation properties and then rotate it to minus 90 degree. Move it downward below the cup and change the stroke width to 10. So I'm going to quickly adjust length of the stroke. I'm going to also quickly adjust the keyframes. I'm going to move this first keyframe to the beginning right here and open this up. We are going to adjust this later. If you take a look at the preview currently, the liquid is dropping very slowly and it makes the liquid look heavy. So wine are usually lighter. So what we're going to do now is to reveal all the keyframe and speed things up so that the liquid will be simulated as if it were light. Hold down the Alt key and pull this inward to about 3 seconds. Feel free to do this to whatever suits your need. If you preview this now, you see that it's a lot faster. That makes it look like, like wine. So you can simulate this faster, but I'm going to leave this for the purpose of this tutorial. Now select the cup layer right here. Right click on it, 
go to create and select create shape from vector this is going to create a new uh, shape layer from that vector then expand the shape layer and add a trim part move to the point where the entire liquid finish dropping into the cup and set a keyframe for the end on the trim part then move back in time to about this point and then set a keyframe for the end to zero select your keyframe hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them then edit the speed graph like this now we have this beautiful so now let's proceed to animate other elements on the logo. Select the arc layer right here and then unhide it. You're going to find this. Then select the pen tool and trace a mask on it. Add the stroke effect. Increase the brush size. And change the paint style to reveal the original move your time indicator to five seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the end value and move your time indicator to somewhere back right here and set the value of the end to zero at this same point hit r on your keyboard to reveal the rotation and then set a keyframe for the rotation and rotate it slightly like this to align with the level of the floor move to five seconds again and rotate this one more whole time select the pen tool and make sure no layer is selected then draw a line to connect this with the arc select the second bottom line hit you to reveal the keyframes we're going to copy this whole of these keyframes and paste it to the one on top what we're going to do now is to align everything so that once the bottom line layer is coming out it will align with the top and then have it rotate as if it is the one transforming to the arc And here you have it. So you can spend more time to make it more smoother and perfect than this. So now let's unhide the text layer and animate that. Hit R or your keyboard to reveal the rotation property for the text layer. Set a keyframe at this point where the entire animation has come to end. Set a keyframe. Also set a keyframe for the opacity at that point. Then move back in time. And rotate it like this also set the opacity to zero select all the keyframes right here hit f now your keyboard to easy ease you got to adjust the keyframe until this moves smoothly perfectly together So after animating the text like this, I'm going to select the pen tool and duplicate this text layer each time and mask out each text. I'm going to be doing this about 15 times to for each letter in the title. So after I finish all of this, I'll then offset it by 2, 2 to 3 frames randomly on the timeline to have this effect. And then I created a null object and parented all of this element to it and set a keyframe for the scale and then also animated other elements any way you think is possible or better for you. And this is what we got at the end of this animation. So that is it guys. This is how to animate a custom a unique logo in adobe after effect if you find this tutorial useful please hit the like button 
and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel that keeps me encouraged so if you find any value with this video of course feel free to share the news to other people who might find it useful if you have any question ask me in the comment section and i'll quickly respond to your question or even make a video for you if i need to do that so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios